All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a very inexpensive DIY smoke machine. You do need a pre-existing air compressor, but I assume most guys that are doing this sort of thing are already going to have it. So then what you're gonna need is a paint can. You can get one of these empty ones from like any sort of hardware store. On the lid, you're going to want to make two holes and then put two fittings on there. And make sure you seal it up nice. Uh, I didn't do a great job, so I had to use a lot of uh, caulking to make sure that this would not leak it's just straight from the lid and then on the inside all you need is some incense sticks and then I put them in the jar just to keep the paint can itself clean but you really don't have to all right so I did have to break the incense sticks that I got because they're just a little too tall for this uh, paint can but basically just light them let them start smoking and then put the lid on and slowly adjust the pressure of your air compressor until you get a nice solid amount of flow. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up on camera, but this would be enough that I would feel comfortable uh, actually using this to begin smoke testing. And then I've got this fuel line that I stick on here and then you can plumb this into, uh, you know, the manifold on the car, you know, unplug a vacuum line, plug that in or in the fuel system, evap, whatever you need to smoke test. It's really straightforward and simple. You can adjust the flow with the air compressor for how much smoke you want to use. Um, if there is no leak, you might encounter a situation where you actually pop the lid off the can. I have done that in the past, trying to verify if something does or does not have a vacuum leak. It didn't, and it popped the uh, cap. So not that big of a deal. It just lifts off. You get the smoke coming out of there. Um, I would try to be careful with EVAP systems as far as that goes but in terms of trying to find like an engine vacuum leak, it's not that big of a deal. And then basically when you're done, you've got this, you can stick it in there, let it blow out. It's gonna make your garage smell nice, which is kind of a good side effect. And yeah, that's all there really is to it. It's very straightforward, very simple, really cheap. Um, this is something that I've used a handful of times with great success.